Is it scary? Is it scary? Allison! Allison! Hocus Pocus. Always. Salem. Sixteen twenty-nine. Look at these carrot lots hoodies. What's her name? <laughs> hey guys, it's Bianca and welcome to the Salem vlog. Did you seriously change because you didn't want to wear your Jonas Brothers shirt? No. Or are you oh, oh. look at these Garrett Watts hoodies we just got. <laughs> they have haunted houses on them. Turn around. They're so cool. So cool. This is just what I'm wearing right now. Cause it's so cold out. <laughs> I have like a cute little witch dress in the car, but freezing. It's so cold. Look how cool this is inside. Hopefully you can maybe see for a sec. Look at that shit. Ugh, I guess they're closed on Mondays, but look how awesome it looks. I really, really, really want to go in. I want to go in so bad. I've been wanting to go inside here since, like, I realized this was, like, a thing. It's kind of, though, just super ironic that we passed it because we were driving, obviously, to Salem, coming from Portland. I don't know, we're just on, like, this random street, and I was like, the Black Veil, that's the tattoo shop. I want to go there, I want to go there. They do the most insane work. It's not a huge deal, but it's definitely it's a, a bummer. No, it's a big deal. It is, right? You wanted yeah. to go so bad. Doesn't it look awesome? Because I always, we always see it. I know. Their stuff is so cool. Nothing's gonna, now I have a feeling nothing's gonna be open. I know, open now I'm here. scared nothing's gonna be open. New England is weird. Every time you're in New England, you're always like, why is everything closed? And they're like, it's a Tuesday, it's a Monday, it's a Sunday, it's church day. Like it's like, and then you'll be like, oh, why is everything not open for dinner? And they're like, dinner starts at six. <laughs> Let's continue forth. <laughs> Guess how much that is? $380. How'd you fucking know? That's crazy. I bought my wand in Philly. Well, this is cool too. For how much was my wand in Philly, Jordan? At, from that lady, the crystal lady. It was like cheap. It was like, I don't even think it was $20. I think it was like freaking, it was like $13. It's also crystals, and she did, did like a little experiment with me while I did it too. But the store's like, I think the biggest, like trendiest store here, so. Oh, I want to go to the broom store. Jordan's wearing the most on-brand shirt I've ever seen in my whole life. <laughs> I have the same exact design in the car. It's my crew neck, but it's different colors, and it's cute, and it's purple, and it's pink. I said, I'll just wear my little orange and black outfit i changed out of my other thing that i were wearing before even though it was so cozy i got a little hot anyways jordan wants grub he's hungry this is a wand store can we go in there here this is cool So here is where we signed up years ago, the first well, time we yeah, ever. It was, in the side alley. it was somewhere that we. No, no, no. It was in a side alley, but we signed up here the day before it's for a ghost tour with Jordan, me, my cousin. And we went on this like ghost lantern tour and we were all like, all right, like whatever. But then we also signed up for a haunted house. During the haunted house, we were all like debating for like an hour. Should we do it? Should we do it? Should we do it? I don't know if we should sign up. Should we do it? Is it scary? Is it scary? We were all being like so dramatic and annoying about it. And then we go to this haunted house and it's like small and it's silly. It's just like a little haunted house. But we were all so spooked because they were just like coming at us from every which angle. And then the boys kept pushing my cousin cousin and I to the front and they were closing their eyes the whole time they were like oh, oh like literally shoving us in front of like the monsters and the people that were like the characters trying to like scare you and stalk you and we were like are you guys fucking for real you're supposed to man that the visitor center's closed Jordan has to piss New England is strange. New England is very strange. They still run very like colony. Obviously it's a summertime, so it's definitely less crowded, but you still get kind of the sense of magic. I think the first time we came though, it was definitely a lot more magical, but it was also the middle of October and everyone was dressed up in like witch costumes the whole time. The witch 
into a vampire store and it was really cool, but they didn't sell like fangs. Like I feel like I kept seeing signs like custom fangs, fangs, and like I just didn't. Anyway, here's the house, guys. Isn't this so cute? And then look at this. A Midsummer Night's Market. How cute is that? Okay guys, so from the witch house, we just walked right next door and it's the first church in Salem. What did it say? 16 what? 1629. And I'm in my, well Jordan let me put on his, his hoodie because I left, I left my Garrett Watts crew neck in the car because I wanted to wear my leather jacket. But look, I could just sit here. Are you seated? How cool. Now Jordan's taking pictures of me, so mind. This is the Ropes Mansion, and I never knew you could go in the backyard of it. And look how gorgeous these fields are, and look at that house even right there, Jordan. Look at that. Mm -hmm. It's awesome. It's right directly next to that church that I just showed you guys, which is the First Church of Salem. And this Ropes Mansion is also, what's her name? Allison! Allison! <laughs> From Hocus Pocus's house. This is where the parents were having like that colonial kind of Halloween party thing. How cool though. That's gorge. I love that house back there. So if you guys I do parkour over this one, <laughs> sneak into the gate. Jordan and I have been wanting to come to the House of Seven Gables, which is this museum that's behind us, perched on the like river uh, ocean bend. <laughs> and every time we come here, we miss it because they close at five. <laughs> so that's like one of them, I guess. And then this is like another little house. Um, I changed into my colonial shoes to take some photos. It's just such a shame we always miss it, but it's really cool. Oh my God, Jesus, it's tire. Oh, did you see it spark? So whatever, this is like it and it's, it's huge. It's really big. So we drove down here instead of walking it. And of course, like we missed like, I guess the final tour or whatever, but it's not a big deal. I love how the theme of this vlog is it's not a big deal because everything should have been a big deal because everything we wanted to do ended up being closed, but we still had obviously an amazing time. And at this point, I hope you guys are really enjoying this video. So yeah, just a reoccurring theme of life. It's not a big deal. We just laugh because every time we come here, we always want to go to the House of Seven Gables, which is literally that, if you see the points. Um, I think that museum goes all the way. It's all like interconnected. It's super cool. Little red house down there is like a bed and breakfast and just all the houses over here are so cottagey and so quaint. Like look how awesome that is. And it's right by the water. So I feel like a lot of people forget to venture down here in Salem. Me and Jordan are like going through the all the four seasons right now. Hey guys, it's Jordan and welcome to the Salem vlog. <laughs> oh my god, you're gonna I can't really Guys, we are at a rest stop which consists of our energy drinks from Aroma Joe's that we got right before we left from Salem, Massachusetts like area. I got cherry orange, so delicious. Jordan got green apple, his looks like the green goblin. And then we just got Chipotle, it's in the bag, we didn't eat it yet, but we're headed home. We're about three hours away from home now, so I'm gonna end the vlog. This was such a fun, lovely, amazing day. I really hope that you guys enjoyed Salem with us. And I didn't really buy anything in Salem except for one thing which was like eggshell powder. There's no haul in this video or anything like that. If you want to see more of Salem and more Salem vlogs I do have plentiful others on my channel of it because I've been here a few times now as well as witchcraft videos on my channel which I post constantly and all the time for spellcasting. Make sure you're subscribed and until then I will see you in my next video. Bye!